professional show. Just give me 15 minutes to catch my breath. Let's... Uh, 20. Can we not? <laughs> Hi, everybody! Hello! Welcome to the Whiskey Heathens World Headquarters. Right it's, here in Fort McMurray, Alberta. That's where we are. Where it's 5 o'clock. It is. Well, like it always is. Uh, it doesn't change. We're in a weird, like... Time space yeah. continuum where we just stay. This is Scott Furgatory right here. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we're uh, we're drinking whiskey of the year and <laughs> and runner ups. Like yeah. we have a vast array here. We're 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 bringing we're bringing the categories. Yeah. So this is a little bit longer than our usual episodes because we have massive amounts of whiskey. To we're go not through. going to be drinking them all. That would no. be ridiculous. No. Uh, we'll do that after. I'm drinking one whiskey of the year. I'm drinking whiskey of the year as well. well um, so, well, why don't we dive in? Do you want to start from one side? Yeah. We'll start from we'll one start side. start here. Why not? Why not? We named a... I'll, I'll give you a quick run through, and then we'll actually go through them just, and recap it in the end, just so you know what's happening here. Okay. We got distillery release of the year. We have... Surprise of the year. Ooh, surprise. Yep. I like surprise. Surprise! <laughs> wow. <laughs> surprise, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> yes! Surprise, motherfucker. Yes! We're gonna, we put that clip in, right? No. What? All right, maybe. I'll get it. <laughs> we have... <coughs> pardon me. Blended whiskey of the year. We have bourbon whiskey of the year. Mm. We have actual whiskey of the year. Ooh. <coughs> pardon me. We have Canadian whiskey of... The decade, it's maybe it's pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah, um, we're gonna pause right here for a quick second. Two hours later, we have local whiskey of the year, we have <laughs> Irish whiskey of the year, and we have club pick of the year. Bam! That's a lot. Yep, that is a lot. Starting with this one. Okay. Let's do uh, it. The reason that we crown this whiskey of the year, this is Kilclaren. Kil Kil Karen. Kilcarran. Yeah, and it's fifty six point nine percent. It's heavily peated. It's basically been released because its predecessor, a couple batches ago, was an Oloroso sherry. Everyone loved it, so they re released a very similar one. Now this is not quite as good as okay. the other, but it's still very, very good. Is it available to purchase currently? It sold out like that. Sorry about that. As it always does, but. Um, whiskey of the year when it comes to distillery release. And we had a runner-up. And it might seem cliche. So if you think it's cliche, uh, well, fuck you, really. Yeah. It, it's a good goddamn product. It is. It's a fantastic product. I got a bottle over there yeah. that's open that we're going to kill later on. Yeah. I have a bottle up there. It's just good. It's, it's just, just really, really good. good. What is it? We thought it was gimmicky. Yeah. yeah, so there's tons of like celebrity gimmicks. They throw their name on it, and then you're just like, oh, yeah, whatever. Not this. Nick Offerman edition of the Lag of Vulin, finished in Guinness casks, 11 year, so is fantastic. So and it was picked by, I think it was Whiskey Advocate as Whiskey of the Year. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and if I can you can find it, you should buy it. Yep. Now, there is the other uh Offerman release, which is good, but this is it's just different. It's on a it different is. level. Very creamy. Yeah. It's really it's good. So good. I agree. So that got the runner up and uh it was it was this close. Yeah. Like it was that close. Well, they don't come any closer than that. Surprise of the year. If there's any closer no than two coats of paint. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow, great analogy. Mm. Write that down. That's old people saying right there. Bust out your moleskin notebook and write that down. Or you know, your phone. But whatever. Oh, moving on. Yeah, so anyway. Uh, surprise of the year. And the reason it's surprise of the year is because it's a bourbon cask. And I kind of stick up my nose to bourbon casks. Uh, me and Travis kind of joke a lot about it. Me and Sean joke a lot about it. Ty likes bourbon casks. I, I seem didn't. to gravitate very much away from it. Now, we had this in a tasting. That's right. Um, I don't remember which tasting. Had a lot it was this year. it was a single cast nation tasting. It was yeah, okay. with PWS Travis and Steve and uh, uh, Elijah was there. It's very good. It's juicy, yeah. juicy, juicy, juice, juice, juicy, juice. That's what Bursting with rich fruit. Yeah, like just yeah. so amazing. Um, I I just I couldn't believe 
13 year old teenage, 56.2% single cast nation. Surprised the hell out of me. I'm gonna want to add a little bit of water to that one. Yeah, add a little bit of water. Just beautiful tropical juicy fruit kind of thing comes out. It's amazing. It is the best that came in from Single Cast Nation, as far as I'm concerned. Big shock, big surprise. Yep. And when they can were talking you get about it right it, now, yes, you can. It's still available. It's still available when I in was Alberta in Edmonton two weeks ago. There you go. Yep. And this will come up pretty quick after recording. So I highly, highly, highly recommend if you see this, you buy it immediately. There you go. Out of all the Single Cast Nations you see, this is the one you really need to buy before it's gone. There you go. Fantastic. Alrighty. Blended whiskey of the year. Cadane's Heads. Yeah. Cadane Heads, seven stars. Um, I fell in love with the old school, old style bottle. And I kind of thought it was a little bit gimmicky. So... What was gimmicky about it? Well, it's like old school, done the old way. And I'm like, yeah, I fucking heard that before, okay? (laughs) But... Mm, uh, Too many times. 70 bucks, Kensington Wine Market. (laughs) Pretty damn delicious. And it got Blend of the Year. Okay. From? Blend of the you? Year. From us. Wow, there you go. <laughs> From the only ones that matter, the Whiskey Heathens. <laughs> this is fantastic. We had to factor in the price as well. And at 46%, to me, it drinks like it's about 36%. Yeah, that's Sherry. pretty damn good. Yeah, delicious, smooth, velvet notes. First time I had it, I was like, am I going to need water for that? I did not. And then we have the runner-up. Polar opposite right here. <laughs> we have Big Pete Halloween edition. This maybe there's is, a link there. Maybe there isn't. Yeah, Who knows? I have no idea about links. So, but it was this good. was so good. <laughs> it was really good. It's ash bomb. This Again, is ash it's like and charcoal. A, a special release, kind of a gimmick for Halloween. It's totally. just damn good. Yep, uh, I thought it was gimmicky. I don't care if it's gimmicky. If it's good, it's good. Only 300 bottles. There was a whole bunch, and there was a bunch available a couple weeks ago. So I don't know if it's still available, but it's really, really good. Our good friends, uh, McMurray Malt Maniacs, brought in a whole bunch, and yeah. uh, we were lucky enough to be part of that, so that was just so damn good. <laughs> now, on to bourbon of the year, and I'm always highly skeptical of every bourbon, because most all bourbons taste the fucking same, and if you say it doesn't, you're full of shit. Tastes like bourbon. So, bourbon tastes like bourbon, tastes like bourbon. Tastes like oak and vanilla. Yeah, and, and spice. A touch and of my wish, blah, 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 blah. Okay, fine. This does not taste anything even remotely similar to any bourbon that I have ever consumed in my entire life. What's the requirement for bourbon? How much corn must be? 51% corn. So what if you were to use, let's say, 100% of a specialty region corn? You'd get this. You would get this. This is Olathe corn. Fantastic. Yeah. Yep. It's really Olathe corn from Colorado. It's a single cask pick from uh, Ryan Jesperson in Edmonton from Real Talk. Real Talk. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and well, I'm sure we'll put that in there. Like in the video, currently still available at Whiskey Drop. Right now, Whiskey Drop. I think Sherbrooke has it as well. There you go. Um, yeah, called it's Boys at Whiskey Drop. Up. You're gonna want to grab that, and then you're gonna fall in love with Woody Creek as a brand. This so. is unbelievable. It's dirty, and it tastes straight up like corn on the cob. It doesn't taste like soil. anything else you've had before. It tastes like nothing. Nothing I've ever tasted. I can confidently like say that it is its own flavor profile. Yep. That you yep. can't go, oh, that tastes like, and compare it to something else. <sighs> right now I'm can't. drinking it. That's what I pour. That's what I chose to pour. Well, I chose to pour the next one, our mm. whiskey of the year. Now you'll notice, not open. That's because we're pouring from samples, and I've only yep. got that much left. Now there's a couple more samples over there, just in case. Uh, our good friend G. Hoff gave us some samples so we could talk about it a little bit. I didn't want to open this one. Because I love it so much, I want to bunker it for a, a couple years. Now, if someone came by, of course, we'd crack it, no problem. But I want to keep it. And I mean, you can say that. It's very good. I have two different bunkers. We have the same rule, right? When you come over to our houses, like, I'm pretty sure we have the same rule. You can't kill a bottle, and mm-hmm. you can't open a new one unless you ask first. But that's generally that's more for yourself. Yeah. But and that's then because I have we want to share it with you. A special bunker right? that I'll show certain people. Mm. And then I have another bunker next to my gun safe, locked away that nobody knows ah, about. Nice. And that's that's just aging for nice. who who fucking knows. Well, I have a, a dark bunker here, so if someone can it's, it's over and can guess hard what's in it without looking, and they're like, I really wanted to try this. And I bet that's something that you would hid. 
I might open it up. for that person. Yeah, crack it open. Yeah, that's like the secret code. Gino was here uh, a couple weeks ago, and he got on his hands and knees, and I said, we'll open anything you want. And he reached into the back of the darkest bunker. The bowels. And just pulled out a random-ass Irish whiskey. <laughs> Napod Castle 16-year-old Sherry Cast from way back. And he cracked it in his half gun. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah that's so, that's how it works around. That's what we like to so do. So, you're going to bunker this. Unless the right person yeah, comes Unless by. the right person comes by, of course we'll open it. Now, is it available for purchase right now? <sighs> no. No, sadly. It so, sold out immediately after a tasting that we had here in Canada. This is the February. problem. Yeah. This is the problem with, yeah. with fantastic whiskeys. Is they don't last, and they're so good, we named them Whiskey of the Year, but yeah. you can't get it. That's so. right. Sorry about that. Yeah. Apologize for that, but you know what? You snooze, you fucking lose. It's okay? what I'm drinking. <laughs> it is, I can tell you. Now, yeah. Heavily peated. Delicious. Do you love it? I do. All right. I do. It's so good. It's like a touch of cigar ash, but a little bit of barbecue <sighs> gristle ash. Yeah. Mm. Uh, people will say, because I collect Glen Burgie, that it's biased. And you know what? You may be right. But if you tasted this... I think you'd agree that it was fantastic. I really do. What is the ABV again? I don't know, 56, 58? 58.6. I did not add water, and I don't feel I need to. to. Oh, it's no. a, it's a, it's ashy. It's very similar to the blend runner-up, as a matter of fact. And speaking of runner-ups, this is what I named runner-up for Whiskey of the Year. Just because it's weird. This is a Rue de Mort. A peed it, Glen Turret. We have an episode coming soon. We did not mention it as Ronald oh. Whiskey of the Year in the episode. We might add it as a tag. Yep, very, very good. Very it's delicious. Fantastic. Very weird, pungent, awkward whiskey. And hard to pronounce. Yep, it's peed it, Glen Turret. It's, it's quite delicious. I think anyone who tried that who's a peed head or who's a weird head would really love it. Is it available for purchase right now? It is available for purchase right now. What? Oh, runner-up whiskey of the year. It's still available to buy currently, right now, in stores. I highly recommend that you do that. Any particular store that you might know of that has Uh, it for sure? I can't say 100% sure. Okay. But I do believe AABC Liquor had it. There you go. Yeah. And if they don't, I'd be shocked. But yeah, delicious stuff. All right. Canadian whiskey of the year. Let's bring it home. If I could secure a bottle of Two Brewers 24, I probably would have named that Whiskey of the Year, maybe. And this I would name Whiskey of the Last Decade when it comes to Canadian whiskey. This is barrel 204, peed it PX cask from Two Brewers, Edmonton Scotch Club pick. Again, you might think I'm biased because uh, those are our friends, but uh, Ty tasted it and loved it as well. I have one in yeah. one of my bunkers. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone. <laughs> Who tasted this? It's so raved about it. Did we even do an episode on it? I think it was. Like, I don't even know if we I did. don't think we wanted to. We're just like. Let's I just think drink that's this. why I, I kept this little bit so we could do an episode. on We it. might have to. This is fantastic. It's so good. It's sweet I'm and smell it right pungent, now. earthy, and full of cherry or sherry. I'm sorry. Well, maybe a touch of sherry, but uh, it's like it. I don't know. It's just so raspy and scratchy and fucking delicious. It's so weird. And I mean, it shouldn't be in this day and age. It is 2022 at this mm-hmm, point. Mm-hmm. It is so weird to think that some of the best whiskey in this country is going to the Yukon. To me, that's strange. Yeah. It's just not something you would have thought about 10 years ago. Yeah. Not something you would have thought about. You wouldn't even think, oh, Yukon whiskey. You wouldn't have thought about that It doesn't 20 seem years like ago. a whiskey metropolis. You know, but they're doing it, and they're doing it right. They're doing it right. Guess yeah. who else is doing it right in Canada? Guess who else is doing it right locally? <laughs> and by locally, I mean... The satellite office of the Whiskey Heathens in Fort McMurray, Edmonton. Oh, there it is. This is the Strathcona Spirits Distillery, Oloroso Dreamland Whiskey. Now, they've got their whole Beautiful. Dreamland series going yeah. on, right? Yeah. For, uh, for a local whiskey, and I, I think this was, what, 90 or... Uh, Some of that. Let's call it 100 bucks. Yeah, roughly 100 bucks. Give or, plus or minus 10 bucks. I mean, you got you got to factor in the fact that it's a smaller distillery uh, at 48.1%. Beautiful. As a local whiskey, man, I'd be, I'd be proud to pick that up. Yep. And you should be, too. If you live yep. in Edmonton, you should be proud. City of Champions is because of things like this. Delicious. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's uh, very youthful, and it's got a lovely Oloroso oak spice to it. 
that's just kind of like zingy. We have an fantastic. episode on this. It just hasn't come out yet. It will soon. Yeah. Yeah. Great because stuff. I recommend. Loved it. Yep, I recommend. Uh, also, if you notice, we never did a runner-up whiskey of the year. For I Canada. skipped it because I was excited. Yeah, but it's because this is peerless. So <laughs> there's no runner-up. There you go. Yep. There it is. Uh, this one we have the runner-up. We have the uh, Heartwood. Not so much for me. That's more of a Josh yep. pick. This is what I picked. Um, did some cooking with it. And uh, okay. it was really good in some cookies. Our good friend Brad in uh, Sherwood Park mentioned it to me. He asked me, what should I pair with these cookies? What should I use for these cookies? And I was like, heartwood. Because it's finishing like a weird pork cask and all this kind of weird shit. For so, me, it just wasn't there for me. And I, I think, again, I don't know if we can fill the links if we can. There's one there. It, it was just too youthful. Yeah, it was too very youthful sanitizer sanitizer yeah. for me. This one's not like that at all. No. No, no. not even remotely. Uh, moving on. Moving on. Mm, I'm Ty. excited for this. Ty's uh, excited about an Irish whiskey. Yeah, it never happens. And it's Sean happens. Kincaid. It's the first time it's ever happened. The Dark Cloud himself. Uh, if, you, if you've been following our channel for a while, we did a blind tasting. The Dark Cloud provided, I believe it was 10 whiskeys. Yeah. Didn't tell us anything about them. They were just numbered bottles. We drank them. We placed them in order of what our favorite to least favorite was. And then he told us what they were. And this was it for me. Mm -hmm. The Kilbegan Single Pot Still Irish Whiskey. Uh, it says limited edition, but I have seen it all over the place. What makes it special... Currently available. Currently, yeah. Currently available. Absolutely. Everywhere. What makes it special is that uh, they added 2.5% oats to the mash. Very fun. Yeah. And for Very me, fun. it was like apple cider, apple cinnamon oatmeal Ooh. deliciousness. And I don't give a fuck about Irish whiskey. Haven't for the True. longest time. There's just something about their, their copper pot distillation process that for me just didn't work. But mm -hmm. then I found this. That's okay. And it was because of Sean and I loved it. So we did try a bunch. The one you really liked I didn't give a shit about. Mm, tastes like a horse's ass. It was disgusting. <laughs> uh, yeah, it tasted like garbage water that ran Loved out the it. back of a truck after it's picked up all of the neighborhoods. I used to work on a garbage truck and I wholeheartedly disagree with that. Yeah, well, you can be wrong. That's all right. Well, I was wrong once before on a Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> but this, this... This is good. It's great. And yeah. it's under 80 bucks. I think it was like 70, 75. Yeah. I don't remember, but I knew it was under 80. Mm -hmm. mm, Irish whiskey of the year right mm. there. I don't even know if it came out in 2020 or 2021. Or, I have no it idea. It became available to us yeah. in 2021. And it's fantastic. That's what and we I name our whiskey of the years by. And I bought it. I'm the one that bought us. it. I bought Irish whiskey. He did. There's actually another Irish whiskey over there that he bought. Yeah. We'll he actually bought that. this Irish whiskey too, and I bought one. Actually, I bought four. Yeah. <laughs> this is well, our runner up. This is our runner up because it's good and because of its convenience. Yep. And yeah. it's. Get a factor in the discussion. prices. If it's in your shirt pocket, take it on an airplane. Right? Take and it golfing. Everything's listed right here the barrels, what they used, the um, uh, uh, double malt, 2% pita malt, everything's right here for you. Runner up, innovation. Right there. Very cool. I That's thought great. this was a gimmick as well. And uh, Steve was like, trust me, Aaron. It's not. It's not. He said, it's actually good. see. So I did see. Yeah. Yep. Take the places you can't use glass. But you can watch the episode on that. Again, if links work, it's right there. If not, we'll put the dis yeah. we'll put the links to all of the ones that we have videos in the description. Yep. You can check them below. And if you've made it to this point, please hit that like button. We're getting to our very last one. Hit that subscribe button. Let's talk about this. Now, I'm not going to rinse out my glass. I'm going to put uh, American on American here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, just a little sippity sip. This is club pick of the year. Club pick of the year. Club so you mean like a specialty whiskey club that got their own Correct. pick from Correct. a distillery. Yep. Would have went to this one instantly, but this one actually got a higher category, <laughs> which is Canadian whiskey of the decade. So that's a little bit different. This is picked by our good friend Y.E.G. Sean, we call him. Uh, it's Y.E.G. Whiskey Nights. It's a 58.8% <clears throat> Boulder American Single Malt. And it's peated. This is fantastic. Okay? Um, it does need water. Okay, you, you, you must add a touch of water to this if you want to bring out those strange flavors. But just sitting on its own, it's very, very rich. If I remember... I usually drink all my whiskey room temperature. This one I actually had ice with because mm. to cut it down mm -hmm. and oh. to cool it off, mm -hmm. and, and it brought out some interesting flavors. That I way, do have so. some water. Um, 
Uh, yeah, just a little touch here. Just a wee touch. Yeah, this is uh, a great whiskey that Sean picked. And Good job. Available. You can buy this right now still. Very, very few remaining, but it's out there. Okay, um, I highly recommend for an affordable price, around 100 bucks ish Okay, give or take 10 bucks. Yeah. You, you can have this in your collection. Again, if you're someone who buys only $50 whiskeys, you're going to sacrifice two $50 whiskeys. And you're gonna grab a hundred dollar whiskey one day, but you're gonna add like a third of water yep. to that whole bottle. This will last so you. It's worth yeah, it. It'll last. It's, worth it's delicious stuff. Great pick, Sean. Um, I'm sure your balls tightened up and went up inside of you when you thought about, man, I, I'm gonna buy a single cask. That's tough, man. That's tough. That's a big step, and uh, you, you picked a real good one, man. <laughs> yeah, so you took the risk, and your gamble paid off. And. Uh, Folks, I mean, if you don't agree with our whiskey of the year, please let us know. That's okay. If you do, let us know. If you have tasted it, let us know. If you haven't, let us know. Uh, taste is subjective, of course. And uh, How many whiskeys do you think we drank this year? Oh, dude. <laughs> like over 500. At least Easily two a day. Over we tried at least two a day. Absolutely so, correct. I mean, we didn't, we weren't drinking every day, but we've tried a lot. No, I've... I've been drinking it so it's nice to see a <laughs> wide variety stuff that uh, is some of it still available but yep. out of all the stuff we drank because that's important mm -hmm. to note mm -hmm. right stuff that we drank this is what we thought was the best of the year very good stuff runners up equally delicious yeah yeah i don't even think did we do 1792 we didn't talk about it no, runner we up skipped that another year excited <laughs> ryan's pick um i got another a, ryan yeah a different a, ryan this much here so this is Ryan from um, Wine Beyond. Spice bomb, oak bomb. Basically, dudes named Ryan know how to pick bourbon, I guess. I don't know, weird. I actually named his bourbon last year a bourbon of the year, and this year got runner-up. He he knows how to pick a bourbon cast. Mm -hmm. that guy. Yeah, it is not even remotely similar to this. All right. There it is. There Quick it is. recap. Distillery release of the year. Surprise of the year. Blended whiskey of the year. Bourbon of the year, overall Canadian whiskey of the year. Nope. <laughs> overall whiskey of the year. Canadian. Overall whiskey Canadian whiskey of the year and Canadian whiskey of the decade. Local whiskey of the year. Local. Irish whiskey of the year. Irish club pick whiskey of the year. Club pick. Here it is. Yep. I think this is a, uh, a beautiful rundown. And if anyone poured me any of these anytime, I'd be more than happy to indulge. Absolutely. Thank you so much for watching. Absolutely. Once again, hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe and tell mm -hmm. some friends. Tell Let's some get this friends. going. The bigger we get, the more cool stuff we can do. And the more cool stuff we can give away. That's pretty much what I was getting at. Yeah. <laughs> Good. So thanks for joining, everybody. We Cheers, love you. Have a great one. Cheers, all the whiskey of the year. Cheers, dog. Cheers, heathens. Boom. Catch you later. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> That's good. Me nerves, by. Oh, I forgot a drink. <laughs> yeah, sucks to be you. <laughs> sucks to be you, fat boy. <laughs> what are we doing here? We don't drink on this show. Let me pour something in there. Yeah, that's probably for the best.